guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with, you guessed it, our pantry and freezer challenge meals. Still working on our freezer, still working on our pantry, trying to use what we have. So for dinner tonight, we are having Mexican stuffed pasta, and I have actually showed this on another What's For Dinner video, and I'll make sure to link it in the description box. So when I made the Mexican stuffed pasta, I don't know, I guess it's been a couple of months ago, I had extra filling for the pasta and I put it in the freezer. And so um, I'm using the filling for the pasta um, that was in the freezer tonight. So that is coming from our freezer. We still had half a box of the jumbo, um, shells and so we are getting rid of this box this was in our pantry so we're using that up i had salsa tomato sauce um, the french fried onions and monterey jack cheese that's all stuff that i had in our freezer or pantry so we're using that up and then we are having some garlic bread with it and that came from our freezer so I'm gonna be moving around a little bit today. So this came from our freezer. I've showed this before on other What's For Dinner videos and it is from Tom Thumb and we really like this a lot. It's so good. I like it much better than Pepperidge Farm and I think this is gonna be my permanent garlic toast right here instead of Pepperidge Farm, unless it's, of course it's on sale. So we're having that and then we are having some salads. I had some butter lettuce in the freezer from Trader Joe's and um, we are using up, well actually Howard's gonna be using up this simply dressed Caesar salad. This, as you can see, there's just a smidge in the bottle. So we're gonna be getting rid of that from our refrigerator. And then this also came from our refrigerator. So I'll be having this on top of my salad. So this is our meal. Everything is from our freezer or from our pantry. Um, so this is what's for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having black beans. So we had some canned black beans um, that Howard made and we are serving that over some jasmine rice. And this is some stir fried broccoli that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Actually, the broccoli was the organic raw broccoli and I just stir fried it. And then um, Howard, this is Howard's plate and he is having some avocado on the side. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard is having some leftover ribs from his birthday dinner. He had two left, so he's having those. And then I did not get a chance to make the shaved Brussels sprouts while my in-laws were here. So I made those before they went bad. And then we are also having some Annie's mac and cheese. So let me show you. Here are the Brussels sprouts. I got them from Trader Joe's and I showed them on a recent haul. And then here is the Annie's Deluxe Mac and Cheese. This is something that I had in the pantry that we needed to use. So that's why I made those tonight. And this is my plate. Um, I'm having some leftover broccoli. Um, and then I'm also, of course, having the mac and cheese. And then from the freezer, I'm having these Tyson spicy chicken nuggets. Um, six of them came in a little box. Let me show you the little box here. So I could have made them in the microwave, but I did bake them. I prefer like a crispier nugget. Um, and so there's only one of these boxes in the freezer. So it worked out perfectly so that Howard could finish off his ribs and then I could um, finish off something else from the freezer, which were the nuggets. And um, like I said, we're having the um, Annie's mac and cheese from the pantry. So getting rid of two items today um, for our freezer and pantry challenge. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Taco Casa which is a, it's a taco place, like a fast food taco place. To me, it's way better than Taco Bell. I prefer it over Taco Bell. So let me show you what we are having. This is Howard's and it's wrapped up, I know, but he is having a, um, a bean burrito, a spicy bean burrito, and he is having a combo burrito, which has um, the refried beans and the ground beef, and it's also spicy. I am having nachos, and I talked about this before on another What's For Dinner video. They used to make the nachos um, with the cheese and meat and everything on it, 
but for some odd reason they don't do that now. They package everything separately, which I hate. Um, but I am just having plain old nachos, which have cheese. They come with jalapenos, but I don't get the jalapenos. And then also ground beef. So, and then I also wanted one of their sweet teas. They have the best sweet tea um, anywhere. And I didn't really have, well, I didn't not really have, I did not have sweet tea the whole time that I was pregnant. Um, or any caffeine, so I've been craving sweet tea now, so I got a large sweet tea. And so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some chili, and um, I have been craving chili for a while, but as I mentioned before during another video, during the last trimester of my pregnancy, I could not eat anything tomato-based. It just gave me the worst heartburn. So we are having a cold day here. It's in the 30s and so I wanted to make some chili. So let me show you what I used. So I really like these two alarm chili kits. Uh, my mom used to buy these when I was little. Um, this is the regular one but they also have a mild version. And the reason I like these kits is because they come with the seasoning packets that you see here. So if there's something you don't like you don't have to add it. So for me personally, I never add the masa, which is used to thicken the chili, I don't add that. And you can adjust the amount of um, chili powder or salt or whatever it is, um, you know, that you don't like. You can adjust it and leave it out. So I made this and then um, from my free, so this came from our pantry. Again, we're in the middle of a pantry and freezer challenge. So this is from the pantry. From my freezer, I used up this Angus beef chili. Now I got this from Trader Joe's a while ago. Again, when I was pregnant, I couldn't eat it. And so I stuck it in the freezer. So I just added this to the chili that um, I made today. So I got rid of this from the freezer. From the pantry, I used up the stewed tomatoes and the chili beans, and I added that to the chili. I do have a tip for you. So if you have a little bit of extra stuff in the fridge, like a little bit of extra salsa or a little bit of extra tomato sauce, usually what I do is just add that to my chili. It adds a good flavor. So just a little tip I wanna throw in. So I'm having, um, I used up that. And then I always add cheese and Fritos to my chili. And I personally like, I have it backwards. I personally like the Fritos lightly salted because I don't like all that sodium. So that's what I have in, um, excuse me, on top of my chili. And then that cheese that you see in there is something that we had in the fridge left over from when um, Howard's parents were here. So that is some cheddar cheese uh, slices and some Swiss. And I've never had Swiss cheese in my chili, but that's what we had in the fridge and that's what I'm using. So um, Howard is planning to add some rice and sour cream to his chili. He is watching the baby right now because I'm starving, so I'm eating ahead of him so I don't have his plate to show. But he is planning on adding some rice to his chili. Now, I did not grow up eating rice in my chili, so I don't know if you did or not. Comment below if you did. So he's gonna add some rice and some sour cream. He is not going to have Fritos. He doesn't like Fritos with his chili. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.